If you're a newer tech, you need this video big time. This is where you need to start your career with service manual usage. I'm just going along here. I'm still under general information. We got info on bearings, whatnot, but let's get into fasteners. Look at it. It's the things we talk about. We have all the different multi fasteners, and it's just very broken down telling us, you know, what we need to do. You know, about testing, bolt lengths can vary. That's a big one I've talked about in other videos. But look at this. To prevent warping components to ensure proper gasket sealing, multiple size fasteners should be torqued as follow. Hand tighten, then torque big fasteners to little fasteners, torque in a pattern from crisscross, so on and so on. See the model-specific service manual for correct tightening information. I mean, they're saying right there, multiple steps. Once again, let's think about this. Let's let's align with even Harley Davidson's theory, Yamaha, Kawasaki, everybody. Common service manual. I can't stress that enough. They expect you to already know it. You're supposed to hand tighten, okay? I call it kissing. It doesn't mean you get your impacts down and suck apart all the way up tight. You have to uh, be diligent in, in that your mechanical craft, if you will, to pull that piece together. So there, there's an example of why you might uh, be curious why Honda manuals are not that big. This book is not locked up in a vault. This is not a... Uh, held in secret uh, you can order this yourself it's it's you know public information uh i would recommend professional training as always how about factory service manuals well didn't i say i was going to show you some special materials what's so special about a factory service manual i'm going to show you what's so special about that the chapter that everybody skips take a look at this you got all these different you know, uh, sections of the vehicle, and that's what our technicians do. They just go right to here to be able to uh, um, find out what they want to work on. They want to work on wheels, they're going to go right to wheels. But look at the most overlooked, overlooked chapter of the service manual, general. Look at the purposes here. It's going to get you to understand the product, and secondly, introduce you to the latest uh, tested in a factory approved major repair methods. Man, I love that. You know, as we've really been being diligent about our service manual usage, you could see how to use the manual. It tells you how to navigate through it. Use genuine parts. Of course, they're going to say that, right? There's a lot of value in, in some of this. But I'm just going to kind of skip over here. We've got all these warnings and procedures and stuff. But then we're going to get into maintenance. Once again, you notice how we get right into a general section? This stuff is overlooked. Anybody that's gone through a formal training program realistically probably sees that and thinks there's no value. I mean, I'll tell you what, as I even reread this, I'm kind of, you know, blessed and fortunate to have a career as, a, as an instructor. I would, you know, come back to this and reread it and think, oh, good reminder, good reminder. But look at some of these titles, safe operating. We've got here shop practices, safety, and then here we got removing parts, some information there. But as we just go along here, you know, uh, disassembly and assembly, more great general information, hardware and threaded parts, wiring, hoses, gaskets. Hey, guys, this is just a factory service manual. This is the stuff that you need. You have to know it. This is the every mechanic should know stuff. And this is why during the procedure of, you know, for example, if we were, you know, taking this fender off, get to the installation, it's not going to have that general information. They just expect you already know it. So you got to dig in. How about how about another one here? This book has been phenomenal. OK, this is a great one. Harley Davidson Fundamentals. We got exposed to this at that Skills USA contest. Uh, Dale Cohn, uh, I know, is the author of this, but I believe it was with a huge partnership of the other, you know, employees. Uh, um, having uh, helped with this. Uh, hopefully I'm correct on that. But uh, man, I'll tell you what, this thing, when, when I first heard about this, I thought, well, what, how, you know, how good is this possibly going to be? I mean, what's this going to have that we don't already have? It was fantastic. Look at this. History, identification, vehicle systems, four-stroke, uh, the different engines, drives, transmissions, secondary drives, wheels, tires, brakes, blah, 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 blah. Engine test procedures was another uh, great one. And I'm thinking a lot of this on entry level. But, guys, I'm just telling you, it's absolutely fantastic. And this is a, a you know, 
not to date the video, uh, I'm not going to price any of this stuff, but all of this stuff is worth every penny of it for what you're going to be able to, you know, have for your, your future as a technician. So I've said it before, dig in.